I hope you're having a good day. Every day when we walk with the Lord Jesus Christ should be ultimately a good day. Uh, we face trials, of course. We have difficulties and illnesses and things that would set us back. But with the Lord Jesus Christ, we can rejoice every day. There's a great verse in the Psalms, Psalm 118, verse 24, that says, This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And that's a great instruction for us. It's a great celebration of the fact that we can actually rejoice even in the most difficult of days because each day is a gift from God. It's something that the Lord has given to us. And so when we face each day, we should be able to acknowledge that God is in our day. He is working in us and through us, and we can trust him to give us joy in the midst of whatever is taking place in that day. It's a great way for us to start our day. This is the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. Now, if we went a little wider in the context of this particular psalm, we discovered that this psalm was written about the celebration of the arrival of the Messiah. And it has to do with the, the foreshadowing of Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. The, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. That is to say that the one that was uh, considered of no value, Jesus, actually became our Savior. He is our Messiah. He is our Savior. He's our Lord. He's our God. And so in that context, it says we should rejoice and be glad because this day, the day of the celebration of Jesus Christ, is what gives us joy. So we understand in our faith that joy comes through a relationship with Jesus Christ. If you have a relationship with Jesus Christ, if you've received him as your Savior, then each day can be given over to him to say, Lord Jesus, use me today, guide me today, be with me today. And he honors those prayers and he gives us joy in the midst of each and every day. So I trust that you're finding the Lord's strength today, that you're trusting in him and rejoicing in the day that God has given to you. Thanks for taking time to join me for this pastoral visit.